Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And I'm so glad that you could join me this morning. Today, Jesus tells the parable of the lost sheep, and he describes how a shepherd will never leave one lost sheep behind. So get the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and we'll talk. Okay, so my niece has a very nice, very large collection of stuffed toys. They come in all shapes and sizes, and animals are her very favorite. Maybe you have a collection like that as well. One time, she lost one of them. Well, misplaced one of them. So she had them all lined up on her bed. She knows all of them, knows exactly where they go, and she realized one was missing. So what did she do? She, she searched far and wide, up and down the whole house in her bedroom to find the missing stuffed animal. And when she did find it, she was so happy that she exclaimed, Yay, I found him! And then she took him back and put him right where he belongs on her bed. Now, even though she has this very large collection of toys, every single one of them is important to her. They're very dear to her and she loves them, so she's upset when they're missing and would be even more upset if it was lost forever. This reminds me of a lesson that Jesus taught to a group of religious leaders one day. These leaders were really upset with Jesus that he was often seen uh, hanging around with sinners. He was even sometimes seen eating a meal with them. You just don't do that when you're a religious leader or a teacher. They thought he was wrong for that. They were very critical, very hard on Jesus for doing such things. But Jesus told them a story to help them understand. He said, suppose one of you had a hundred sheep and you lost one of them. Wouldn't you leave the 99 home who are safe and sound and go out and search for the, the lost sheep? And when you found that lost sheep, wouldn't you be so happy you would joyfully put it on your shoulders and carry it back home, take it back where it belongs to the flock? Wouldn't you be so happy that you would tell all your friends about finding this lost sheep? I can imagine that all of the religious leaders um, had to agree that they would do just as Jesus suggested with that story. And then he added, in the same way, there's more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents and asks for forgiveness over 99 religious people who didn't need to repent in the first place. The Bible teaches us that we are like sheep and sometimes we stray away from God. And that makes God very sad. He loves us so much and wants us near. But he never gives up on us. He keeps searching for us and calling out to us over and over by name because he loves us. He wants to draw us back into his arms. He even sent Jesus, his son, to save those who are lost. Aren't you glad that God doesn't give up on his lost sheep? I am because I once was lost, but now I'm found. You've probably heard that around church and in music and stuff. Pretty cool, right? I once was lost, but now I'm found by Jesus. Let's pray that we remember that every day and we are reminded that God never leaves us behind and he'll always go out looking for us. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your head with me. Dear Jesus, you are the good shepherd. We are so thankful that you love us so much that you came to save each and every one of your children who might be lost. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Alrighty, as usual, I've got a coloring page for you guys. Here is today's coloring page, and that's Jesus taking home the little lost sheepy. So that's linked in the video description box below and where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. So you can download, print that off, and color that at home if you would like to. That's available to you. We are back to our two service models. So we have traditional service at 8.30 a.m. and contemporary service at 10.30 a.m. And at 10.30 a.m., about around 15, 20 minutes through, we have this children's message and then um, kids' Sunday school. So if you would like to come to in-person Sunday school, we have that starting up today. Um, that'll be every Sunday at 10 uh, during the 10.30 service. So just come on into the 10.30 service and we'll let you know when it's time for Sunday school. We'd love to have you. Uh, we'll still be live streaming our early service, so that should go live 
a little bit before 8.30 if you want to check us out online, you can do that. And that will also be posted on our website, pplc.org, where this is posted, and on our Facebook page every Sunday morning. So you can check that out if you haven't already. Um, whew, that was a lot. I think I covered everything. Hopefully we might see you in church. Uh, if not, we love having you as viewers online. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's close in prayer together and I'll let you go. Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you for this morning where we can learn more about you and worship you and give you your praise that is due. Help us to remember that you are our good shepherd. And when we tend to stray away sometimes, you will always go out looking for us, calling us by name. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, that's it. I, that's all I've got for you. I will see you next time. Bye.